was a B A M P Vamp. a leak in my thick leak. Hey, it's me, your friendly neighborhood snake. <laughs> Hi, snake. How's tricks? Terrific. It's hard to hiss and still be masculine. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. Tricks, I mean. <laughs> I was going to suggest that maybe you'd have Adam take a bite of the apple. You know what I mean? Make him fall in love with you, and you'd both live happily ever after. Or 12,000 miles, whichever comes first. <laughs> hmm. Interesting, but can I trust you? I mean, I've heard that serpents speak with forked tongue. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You just save your cheap snake jokes for somebody else. Here comes Adam now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. Just think. Me, Adam, living here in this Garden of Eden with carrots and peas and bananas and kumquats and it's all mine. It's all mine. The only thing I mustn't touch, the only thing I can't touch is that apple on yonder tree. Because if I do, I'll be banished from here and forced to live in Cleveland. <laughs> <clears throat> oh! Oh! <laughs> Another man. <laughs> You're really beautiful. And I must be sick. <laughs> Guess again, sonny boy. I am a woman. And I'm all woman. From morning until night. But mostly from night until morning. Get it? Huh? Huh? <laughs> How do you like them apples? <laughs> Don't mention the word apples, because if you do, if you say apples, we'll be banished from here faster than you can say original sin. Anyway, I don't feel like eating. My, my left rib is killing me. Come on, Adam. Sink your teeth into this juicy, ripe, red, delicious apple. Come on, have some fun for once in your life. Try it. You'll like it. <laughs> No. Okay, but it's either take a bite of this apple or you have to make love to me. <laughs> make love to you? Me, Adam, make love to you? To the first woman? Me, make love to you? The first man, make love to you? Let me just ask you one question, Buster. <laughs> what's, what's making love? <laughs> well, you see... First, you put your two knees close up tight. Yeah. Then you swing them to the left. Then yeah. you swing them to the right. Oh. It looks like rain. <laughs> there they go. Adam and Eve. First man and the first woman. <laughs> now the Garden of Eden's all mine. I think I'll build a little high rise over there. <laughs> a filthy little subway over there. <laughs> Ship in a lot of smog and garbage. Hey, they're fooling around out there. <laughs> they're fooling around out there, and I'm stuck here with a bunch of fruits. <laughs> Once upon the western prairie A gal of called Calamity Jane Built up a flaming reputation For driving all the dudes insane They say her kiss was hotter than a loaded gun And bang, 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 that's how the west was won She was a scamp, a camp, and a bit of a tramp She was a Look, it's 
Wild Bill Hickok. What are you expecting, Dale Evans? <laughs> I'm looking for the mean female critter who reckons she's an equal to Wild Bill Hickok. <laughs> you must mean Calamity Jane. Mm hmm. That's a low down varmint. I find Calamity Jane, I'm going to show her. There ain't no woman that's equal to no man. I can't wait to get my hands on her. <laughs> Where would you like to start? <laughs> hmm. You think you're my equal, huh? Equal? Bill Hickok, you're a mangy, low-down skunk. <laughs> Why, I, on the other hand, am a warm, wonderful frontier lady with terrific charisma and a fantastic set of 45s. I still say that no woman is equal to no man. Look, spaghetti arms. I want you to read this book here. Hmm? It's all in this book, the female eunuch. It's all in here about the equality of the sex. Well, now you're being unfair. Because I can't read. <laughs> You're bringing sex into it. Now don't try to get physical with me, woman. Because that's where I, 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 I excel. <laughs> I can't talk, but I excel in that. <laughs> you just come on over here. We'll do a little Indian wrestling. <laughs> come right. on, Indian wrestle with me. Okay, Indian wrestling it is. <laughs> at the fertility right Saturday night. Right on. <laughs> uh, just my luck. First time I get to play a white guy in a western, the Indians beat the daylights out of me. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you got till sundown to get to my place, Mr. Hickok, because I'm just going to find out how come they call you Wild Bill. See that gun action? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Been in Indian fights, buffalo stampedes, but I never saw that kind of action before. <laughs> well, it's three o'clock in the morning, and there's nobody in the place but you and me. <laughs> Let me ask you something, bartender. What kind of western is this? The only kind you'll ever see on this show, buddy, an Italian one. <laughs> In that case, I'll have a Chiani and a pizza to go. People call me psychoneurotic, but you can call me Blanche Dubois. Come on off board my Potential partner in Hinky Pinky. The problem is, one half of me loves you, but the other half of me is sickened by your basic crudeness. You're revolting, honey. Does that mean you don't like me? Why contraire, oh foolish boy? 
Don't you see that in spite of my loathing, my burning hatred, my simple disgust for you and everything you stand for, I love you. Yeah. Well, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Why are you leaving me, my repulsive beauty? Why don't you stay and put your arms around me and we'll have some tea and I'll give you a little sympathy. What is that? <laughs> That's our new boarder. He's a conductor on a streetcar named Desire. That's good. I was wondering how we worked that in. <laughs> well, I gotta pack now. Stay away from me, you brute! <laughs> you lay off of me. All right. Now, who stole my bowling trophy? <laughs> what is it? Horsewhip you if he saw you forcing your attentions on me like this. <laughs> Look, I'm looking for my spare sock. You know what my spare sock is? Sweet Tom won't help you. You'll never drag me down to your level. All right, Blanche. All right. I mean, I can take a hint. But you get... <laughs> you give me one... You, you give me one good... Re you give me one good reason why I should stick around. Me. That's a good reason. <laughs> I'm sick of him. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna show you a real hug. Not now, Stanley. Not now. Not now? Drives me crazy when you do that. <laughs> Don't you love me no more? Oh, it's not that, Stanley. It's not that. Oh. Good night. <laughs> just isn't any fun without him here to watch. From the garden, what a rotten 